All righty. A um, couple things I want to talk about today. Um, first things first, just a real quick analysis on Bitcoin. It's still struggling to move higher. If you watch the last live, which was, I think, this morning, uh, like eight hours ago. Um, if you haven't watched that, definitely go watch that. It's not a very long live. A lot of good information in there. Um, it was basically a warning to be careful going long here. Um, yeah. Uh, what I really want to talk about today is um, why I'm so, um, I guess, repetitive when it comes to using low leverage um, trading. And it, it really sounds easier said than done. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to use less risk. But the the really hard thing is that when you become a good enough trader to the point where you become confident in your trades, right? Meaning you've taken, you know, let's say five, six trades in a row and every single trade you take is in profit and you're closing it in profit and it's a nice, easy profit. Um, that's, that's amazing. That's great. But it's also a little dangerous and it's dangerous because of the main, the, the idea that, um, you start to believe that all of your trades are going to be, you know, hundred percent accurate all the time. And so what ends up happening is people will go from very disciplined trading with 3x and 5x leverage or 2x leverage, whatever they're comfortable using. And they'll say, you know what, I've done seven trades in a row and every single trade has gotten, you know, gotten me a good profit. I've been correct every single time. Let me up my leverage to 10x. And sure, they use 10x leverage and um, they make another good trade. And they say, okay, let me use 20x leverage. Why am I sitting here using low leverage, making, you know, 10, 20% gains when I could be using 20x leverage or 30x leverage and I could be easily getting, you know, 50% profit on every single trade I do. And this is where it becomes dangerous because this is another version of FOMO, right? FOMO isn't just that you sell and then price goes higher and you FOMO back in. FOMO is, you know, fear of missing out on the opportunity cost. And if you don't know what opportunity cost is, I think everyone knows what it is, but just Google it. Basically, it's... Um, it's the fear that, uh, man, I could be making way more money. Like I just did a trade where I got 2%. I could have been using 70X leverage and made 140%. And I only made, you know, 10% because my 5X leverage. Um, I could be making way more money. And you're kind of fearful that the market's going to, I really don't know what the fear is. It's kind of an irrational fear because the market's not going anywhere. You can you can trade for the next 50 years. The market's going to be here, which is why I tell you, be in it for the long run. But that's really the dangerous thing is getting getting to the point where you think that, um, yeah, I've done five trades in a row. Let me use 25x leverage now. And all it takes is one trade at that point to go south and, um, you know, you use 25x leverage and the price comes down and all of a sudden you're down 15 percent. And this is where it becomes very difficult because a lot of people will try to recuperate their losses instead of just taking the loss and calling it a day. They'll try to counter trade and enter another trade with maybe even more leverage to try to make the money back that they just lost. And some of you out there maybe are listening to this and say, oh, yeah, that's exactly what I do. And that's never going to work, right? You have to realize that you're not going to win every single trade. You know, winning eight or nine out of 10 trades is phenomenal. Um, and it's definitely doable if you stick to the higher time frames and lower leverage. Um, I would say you can easily win nine out of 10 times if you follow a good strategy. Um, but the one time that you do lose, it's very important that you just take the loss and you say, okay, I lost. I'm going to wait for the next trade because people want to see their money go up, up, up and compound over and over and over again. But there's going to be times when you have to take a, you know, I don't know, 10%, 15% loss. And that's fine because the next eight trades, you're going to make 10, 15% of the next eight trades. So your portfolio is going to look like this. It's going to go up and then it's going to drop. And then, you know, you're going to bounce back nice and slow doing your good strategy and you're going to make more money and then your portfolio is going to drop again. And the important thing is that you manage your emotions and you manage your psychology so that when you enter this drop and you lose a trade, that you don't start entering a bunch of other trades that end up dropping you more and more. And then you start to really um, increase your risk a lot to try and, you know, recuperate all these losses to try and bounce back to where you were. Um, a lot of people say, man, if I, if, if this price can just, you know, move back up to where I was, I'll exit the trade and I'll be good. And, uh, that's, that is the most difficult thing. All right. I always tell you guys, trading is 10% actually executing trades and it's 90% executing or, or managing your emotions and managing your risk because this, when your price is going up, when your account's going up, you're great. But the second it starts to come down, 
and you, you know, you start to deviate from your strategy, you start to do new things, you start to do things that you're not a hundred percent sure of. It's really a coin flip at that point, whether price goes up or down in your favor. And, um, this is the point where I would say 90% of people, um, struggle with. I think that point, everyone's, everyone's fine when price is going up, but they stick to their strategy. They do what they do. Second, it starts to fail. They start to immediately doubt themselves. And this drop here, when you lose a trade, when you lose two trades in a row, maybe even three trades in a row, that's when people really start to judge, question themselves and they try to do new things instead of saying, hey, I have a strategy, I know it's going to work. And I mean, if it doesn't work three times in a row, maybe you need to rethink your strategy. But, you know, you may, let's say you lose one or two trades in a row, your account takes a little bit of a hit. You know, you go from $100 to 200 and then down to 150 um, it's very important that at this point you recognize you're still up from where you were and that if you just continue what you were doing um, over time, you'll, you'll be able to get to $300 and then down to 200 and then $400. And I'm just using random numbers, but you get the point, right? I just want to make this video as a little reminder for people out there that um, especially after, you know, trading zones like this where price does nothing for four or five days, it's very easy to start getting frustrated because it's just wicks on all sides. It goes up and it fakes down and it fakes up and then it goes up very, very slowly. And, um, this is the, I think this is an area where a lot of people lose a lot of money considering, which is funny considering price doesn't really go anywhere, but people are trying to go long and they're trying to go short catching the breakout and the breakout doesn't come for like five days. And then it finally breaks out. And again, my belief is that this breakout might even just come back and punish people even more that are trying to, you know, jump the gun too early. Right. Same thing that the price did back here. Right. Imagine people over here that tried to catch this breakout. Um, they tried to jump the gun too early and they got dumped on. And then these people that try to catch this, this move up, they got dumped on. And then these people, they got dumped on until finally everyone was pretty much out of money when the price started to actually pump up. They, they lost all their money getting liquidated over here. Right. So don't get liquidated. Keep your emotions in check. And um, yeah enjoy um enjoy the rest of the day um that's all i got for you guys uh thank you for tuning in feel free to drop a like unsubscribe report the video do all that great stuff uh, and until next time peace out